Hello, and thank you for joining me in this fantastic science lab today to discuss night vision in relation to the photoelectric effect. Now, let's begin. Now, what is the photoelectric effect? The photoelectric effect is when light bounces electrons off a surface. The image on the right, as you can see, shows the different frequencies of light, either visible or infrared, on stage one, going into the photomultiplier in stage three. The amplified light hits the phosphor screen and can be seen as what is most commonly known as green light. It was first discovered by a German physicist, Hertz, in 1887. He first observed it when ultraviolet light shining off a metal plate created a potential difference between two electrodes. Now let's go to the next slide. Now, night vision. How does this work? Night vision goggles work by amplifying the existence of protons. Ah, oh, my, my bad. Photons. A lens directs photons onto a photoelectric plate and the electrons are then accelerated onto a channel plate with many fine holes, very small, 10 microns in diameter. The electron particle then proceeds to ionize atoms at these said holes, amplifying the electron current through the vacuum. This is known as a photomultiplier. Very nice. These electrons will eventually hit a fluorescent filter, usually made of phosphorus, to create an image. Now let's go to the next slide, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to explore the physics behind night vision. Oxidization is the ionization of atoms by the loss of electrons. This occurs at the anode photoelectric plate. Electrons may be stripped from a metallic surface when subjected to a, a wave of photons with specific frequency. Each metal is a different ionization frequency known as a, a threshold frequency. Each metal has a different ionization <laughs> frequency known as the threshold frequency. Now I repeated that twice, not because I accidentally repeated it twice, but for just emphasis. It's really important to know about the threshold frequency. Now, the excess work past this frequency is converted into electron kinetic energy. So like, they vibrate really fast. Anyway. Since the incident angle of the protons, oh, my bad, I keep saying it, photons is equal to the linear incident of the electron, a pattern is created based on the photon pattern on the photoelectric plate. This pattern is known as the image and is what we see in night vision goggles. Now, thank you for joining us on this lesson today. I hope you enjoyed it. I must give credit to uh, Luke Vivetches and James Chen Smith for creating this PowerPoint and helping me with my sources today. Now I hope you youngsters have a very fun afternoon and enjoy the physics knowledge I have invested in you. See you later.